This high grade neodymium magnet is 72 millimeters in diameter, it's 60 millimeters thick, it weighs 1.8 kilos and yet it has a clamping force of over 300 kilos. Now this magnet is perfectly safe until it sees a thick piece of steel or even worse it attracts to another magnet. Now when two magnets suddenly jump together, if your hand is in between all your fingers will get cut off. If we look at these sponges as being your hand, when the magnets are trapped in the other magnet, the force is perhaps 50 kilos at this distance. But because the 50 kilos is pressing on your hand, it compresses. When it compresses, the magnets are closer together, and then the force rises to 100 kilos. 100 kilos compresses your hand even more, 200 kilos, 300 kilos, the magnets don't stop until they are touching. And if we combine that with massive acceleration, you can understand how dangerous these magnets can be. Now, imagine if this was a 300 kilo block of steel traveling at 200 miles an hour onto your hand. You can imagine the mess that would make. Now we're going to do a demonstration. I'm going to put my hand in between two magnets and we're going to see what happens when these two fantastic magnets collide and my hand is trapped in between. To do this demonstration I'm going to need two of these magnets. A non-magnetic stainless steel pole runs through the magnet and I am loading on the second magnet. Right, if you don't like broken bones, blood, gore, please look away now. This isn't going to be pretty. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate what can happen when a hand is caught between two large neodymium magnets. Now the magnets that we use don't look particularly large, but with a pulling force of 300 kilos, I think it graphically shows what can go wrong. Now there are applications where magnets of this size are needed, and if you need to assemble them into an assembly, and you don't want to end up looking like me, then give us a call. At firstformagnets.com we have engineers who are specially trained to handle these magnets, they use specially designed equipment to make sure that everybody keeps the fingers. Thanks for watching.